Hi everyone, so final video review for this week. If you were reading along with me, you'll know that I was reading my last Ilva arc for the last lot of Ilva arcs that came in, um, which was Contract for Love by Alison Gray. Um, so like I say, if you've been reading along with me, you've been, know where I am with it. Um, if you're watching this on Facebook, there'll be um, my Goodreads review just a little bit further down the page for you to check out. And if you're watching it on YouTube, my Goodreads review is in the description below. Please go and check it out and if you would like to buy a copy of this book which is now out there is also a link in the description to Ilva and also to Amazon so you can go out and grab a copy of it as well so Contract for Love by Alison Gray um, this is my first experience reading anything by Alison Gray and I really really did enjoy it um, this was also my first experience of a fake relationship book so I believe that fills the square on my bingo card which I really must pull out because I haven't filled it in in ages so if you're playing Jay's book bingo this is a great book for your um, fake relationship square um, so Contract for Love by Alison Gray let's talk about the book um, I really enjoyed it it was a really good story so it follows Madison who um, at first I thought she was an absolute brat uh, arrogant obsessive carefree Carefree is definitely a word for Madison. Just she just did not care about anybody else or anything else, their feelings, whatever. She just did what she wanted when she wanted. Absolute spoiled brat, hands down. Um, and her grandmother sort of serves her an ultimatum if she wants her inheritance. So she hatches a plan because she's not going to do what her grandma wants. She doesn't really care what her grandma wants. She just wants her inheritance. So she hatches this plan. Um, finds this waitress, uh, Sherry, who really is in a bit of a pickle can't really argue financially and Madison offers her a deal so money for something that she needs for her son in relationship um, to sort of fool her grandma that's that's their ultimate well that's the ultimatum really so she she draws up a contract with Sherry offers her money to come and pretend to be her girlfriend until her grandma accepts that she's now a grown-up and basically says that she'll write her back in the will. However, there's a few surprises in there for Madison and she doesn't see them coming. One is the development of feelings for Sherry. The other is the attachment to Sherry's kid, Jake. Uh, the third is the throw-in of uh, Sherry's mate, Rita, uh, Rita May, who has to come and live with them. That's definitely something she didn't bargain for when she uh, when she laid eyes on Sherry in a sort of a restaurant and just thought, yeah, she'll do. Um, there was some sort of attraction there with Sherry and that's why she picked Sherry, but... I don't think she realised it was going to quite develop like it does, um, which is actually an interesting twist in the story, and it's not plain sailing at all. It's completely rocky the whole way through. When you get to the end, you're sort of like, finally, yes, we're getting somewhere. Um, uh, but that just added to the excitement of the book. It was a really, really exciting read, and I actually really enjoyed it. It was like a, I can't put this book down type of book. And I actually enjoyed reading about something that's all faked for most of it. Um, and all the put on and yeah all the organizing that it takes and the planning and whatever else it was really exciting and really interesting to read about and i just really loved it um jake's a cute kid whenever there's a kid a book now it's a, children in real life i'm sort of like get them out of my way but kids in books is so cute and inquisitive i don't know why normal kids can't well like real kids can't be more like that maybe it's just me maybe i just don't see the right kids or something but anyway you know what i mean um they always steal your heart a little bit um same as jake steals madison's kind of and she in the end she sort of she realizes she's grown up more than she expected to and it's not, it's not for the reasons she thought um and that's that was really interesting to watch her character development because you learn a lot about madison and your initial view of her will change so my initial view of her definitely changed and as she developed as a character i really started to feel yeah okay i can i can understand you now um Alison gives you a lot of great insight into why Madison is the way she is and that's really great and so yeah I really did enjoy it, it was a really good book um, I definitely recommend it uh, especially like I say if you're looking for something to read for your fake romance for Jay's book bingo that's a great one to pick up and it will keep you really interested and intrigued the whole way through you get a nice few surprises in there as well um, so that is uh, Contract for Love by Alison Gray uh, if you've read it let me know let me know what you thought of it if you're going to read it again let me know i'd love to know if it's on your to read list and if you want to grab a copy of it i'll pop a link in the description if you do buy a copy of it i really do hope you enjoy it and that you'll let us know what you thought of it 